Okay, so basically, the part of the story is entitled New Frontiers. Call it that, because that's after all the previous fuck shit is done. From, you know, Downward Spiral and, you know, Broken and all these other things. And Clout Chasing. All, like, all the different arcs have, like, different names and whatnot. But, yeah, I can go over all this and make it very simple. Because it's finally back in order. Alright, let me move all this. Okay. Part of the title, Dark Love, is that way because it just focuses around the relationship of Zan and Alien and Luna, Shinigami Death Goddess from Earth. But these are all their friends that they come in contact with or meet. Helen Bolt, Clown, Gifted Engineer. Paul Vicious, punk rock anarchist gang leader, Damien Hellfist, uh, loan shark, bureaucrat, demon, <laughs> Steve Bloodlust, fucking politician, pimp, <laughs> Stefani, uh, the ringmaster of the local town circus, <laughs> Kevin McCormick, uh, engineer, uh, weapons as expert, scientist, uh, his brother. Pretty much the same, but that's Ian. He has wild powers and shit. And here's Christina, the friend that runs the garage. And this is Alex, their friend that's on the police force. And then this is Lily, thief. Monica, engineer, <laughs> tech genius, criminal. <laughs> Brother Ryan, <laughs> bank robber, con artist. So, you know, kind of all pretty much all writes itself, but yo, Zan falls to earth and pretty much just meets all these people in the middle of all this crazy shit. But pay attention to this trio of goth chicks because their entire just escapade and run is wild in the story. But they're really like the fuse that lights all this shit. It's the gang of the clowns, the gang of the demons, the gang of the monsters. It's pretty wild. So I said it was like four different gangs. This is like some of some of them. This is like the th three of them. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, and it starts off with them like sacrificing some dude trying to summon uh, Luna on Halloween, but that doesn't really work out. So, let's just see how all this unfolds. Beforehand, there was, like, this uh, meeting between all the wealthy denizens of the town, uh, Ian and Kevin's parents included, who were philanthropists having to go against the fucking mafia and shit like that, with the chief of police there for protection. <laughs> but then, like, their friend, Alice, she comes up later because she's this mob boss who later becomes their tour manager and bodyguard. And she finances their entire, well, because the three of them are in a punk band, so, like, she finances their tour. <laughs> Funny as fuck. So, uh, yeah, after all this meeting, uh, this meeting, like, really goes left because, uh, really, it was just about trying to find a alternative power source for the entire town where to, like, go to, like, free, clean, well, not affordable, uh, renewable uh pure clean energy and shit or just thermal radioactive nuclear energy proposed by both of these chicks right here but she was the one that garnered favor amongst everybody so it was like they went with her idea first so then because of that their town is just this lawless hellhole filled with just factories and warehouses and shit and games but starts with present day he has two daughters one of his daughters is a rookie cop so she's been investigating this uh trio crime spree they went on a whole crime spree of, like brutal ritualistic murders and shit just trying to summon people from luna's family so you know in order to like kill off motherfuckers like this to wipe out their debt and also better their town but they're just going about it in a fuck up fashion so then fucking pull up Pull up all dramatic, uh, kick in the door and all that shit like that. Guy's on the floor. He was like, it is so not what the fuck was in that Craigslist side. <laughs> and they're about to summon her. 
pretty much tell them to fucking stop everything. Uh, of course they're not. Pretty much turns around, fucking chucks a bat at the bitch. A fucking bat is all on her fucking face. And then, yeah, it's just hilarious. So then her partner grabs a fucking nearby shovel, smacks it the fuck off. <laughs> And then all this confusion is going on and shit. She actually slits the guy's fucking throat. Like, shh. Shocking the fuck out of him. But then uh, she tells one of them to, like, use the flamethrower that she had. She ends up, like, blowing a hole of fire through this motherfucker and shit. She ends up fucking just laughing it off, kicking the dude. Body tumbles over them. <laughs> And then she even had she even uh had time to light her friend's cigarette. But this is the leader of the group. She kind of gets pissed at the rest, and she was like, "Dude, they're fucking distracted. Let's get the fuck out of here." Changes the settings to a grenade launcher, launches that shit out the window. Undercover cop right there that sold the weapons outside of his girlfriend is just waiting to capture and apprehend him, but they just get blindsided by him. She ends up like knocking a grenade on the fucking floor. They crash out of the fucking window. <laughs> Catches them red-handed and shit, tells and reads them their fucking rights. And he's like, well, well, hold on, man. You sold us this shit. I don't give a fuck that I sold you this shit. But honestly, I could charge you guys extra, so pay up. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, yeah, nah. We actually have a better fucking idea. But it goes back to them. She's all concerned about the victim. She's like, fuck the victim. They're still on the loose. <laughs> so then... They end up pulling this motherfucker off his car all eight mile style. And then girlfriend like lunges at her with a gun. She they end up setting her hair on fire. <laughs> She's just rolling around her fucking hair is on fire. And then he gets up, <laughs> rips off his jacket. <laughs> all dramatic jumps off the fucking car. Puts her out. And she's like, yeah, motherfucker, we got your keys. Like, put my fucking keys down. <laughs> <laughs> he tries to take a swing at her, but her friend like ends up bouncing on like on this motherfucker's arm and shit. Uh, fucking yeah, just flirt with him and shit, and then swings, kicks this nigga in the fucking face. <laughs> he's and he is just out cold. Just like okay, yeah, cool, that was lit, but let's get the fuck up out of here. So then she's like, yep, sorry. <laughs> Does this elaborate acrobatic move, fucking flips on the car, gets in the back, she tells him to speed off and shit. She's like, okay, well, if you fucking fall off, that's on you. He's like, what do you mean fall off? She just fucking speeds off. And then she's like, oh, damn, they're getting away. So then, so then I actually call their partner who's like parked over. You notice this motherfucker's a literal pig eating donuts. He's like, okay, yeah, man, you remember those bitches that we're looking for? Yeah, well, they're fucking on, they're coming straight towards you. Take him out, man. They already fucking took out the victim. <laughs> so he speeds towards them. Fucking crashes in them. T-bones them. She falls off and shit into the fucking street. They're like, oh, shit. So then she, she was like, okay, fuck it. I got him. <laughs> She's like, what are, what are you about to do? So I'm about to even the fucking odds. And then fucking Alex, she just fucking crashes into the damn window. Points the fucking gun. And is like, yeah. <laughs> Reason to right. Don't fucking move. So then after this, uh... Yeah, she's like, dude, I don't, dude, like, dude, I'd love to save her, but at the same time, I don't want to go to fucking jail. <laughs> she's like, ah, uh, somehow she survives that shit, comes too. She's like the tough one of them. <laughs> so then, yeah, he's he's shouting out the car and shit, the fucking speakers going, surrender now. She's like, nah, fuck that, back up the car. <laughs> And she's just, and both of them just kind of just spot each other and just lock eyes. She's hauling us. They back up the car. She fucking hops back on. She's just hauling us after the car. She jumps <laughs> onto the fucking bumper. And then she spots a whole bunch of weapons and shit right next to her. And she, her partner calls her and she's like, what the fuck are you doing? She's like, dude, I'm on the back of the damn car. Hold on, I have to... Like, hold on, I actually have to call people I know nearby that can help me. So, basically, these motherfuckers just have to be on a nearby rooftop just smoking weed. He gets a fucking call, interrupts their whole sesh. They're like, what the fuck? He's like, hey, Alex, what's up? What the fuck you mean? What the hell is up? Dude, I'm about to fucking die. You're about to die? Where the fuck are you? <laughs> oh, shit, I can't talk right now. Yeah, damn right you can't talk right now because you got... <laughs> You're fucking dead, bitch. She tries to, like, fucking just hit her with the bat. She's dodging her and shit. Go. Oh, lift the fucking bat up. And pulls her gun out. She has to just take the fucking hit on her hand and shit like that. She's like, yeah, nah. I was like, what the fuck are you? <laughs> 
She's like, whatever, man, doesn't even matter. So then she ends up like fucking shooting her, shooting her in the fucking shoulder. You know, it's like, all right, fuck it, I gotta go. I guess I gotta go handle this. Uh, let me see what the fuck they are. <laughs> Trying to like search. She actually really does pinpoint the location because the site is like amazing. He's like, all right, fuck it, be back in like five. Peace. <laughs> Hops off the fucking building, flies towards them and shit. She's like, yeah, I think I might follow. Gives her the fucking d d nasty ass sucker that was in her mouth. Sets up to just get the fuck out of there too. Bam. <laughs> Zooms out there and catches up to him. Like, hey, yo, I'm coming too. He's like, uh, really? I mean, dude, what the fuck do you even have to do with her? And she's like, dude, look, dude, we used to be fucking roommates. <laughs> so then, yeah, they go straight towards her and shit. Here she is looking all badass gun smoke coming out. She's like, oh, this bitch just shot me. You heard that? The bitch just shot her. Uh, dude. Yeah, dude, man, we, yeah, dude, we have to find a way to get this fucking cop that's in the back of our car. Yeah, relax, man. We're coming up to a fucking uh, dead end, man. She'd be fucking crazy to stay on. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking crazy for fucking staying back in here, man. Oh, God, she's fucking annoying. So then they fucking come up to, like, the dead end they were talking about. It was going to careen into the fucking forest and shit, and that was going to be, like, their getaway point. <laughs> So then he was like, yeah, so, like, uh, just be careful to, like, not, like, uh, hurt Alex in the entire process. But all this shit is going on. Fucking Warlord and his fucking gang of, like, minions and shit are, like, planning, like, to, like, fuck up the town because it's Halloween. But then, like, they're just waiting. <laughs> waiting for the right time to strike. She's just like, fuck, why can't we just go now? Like, well, the reason we can't just go now and shit like that, because we have to wait until the fucking, uh... And tr mm, treat turns into trick <laughs> on the on the local meter. So basically, he spots them, and this is noteworthy because this is like one of the fucking warlords that they owe money to. He's say, like, "Nah, fuck that. Change of plans. First one to fuck them up <laughs> can just pretty much do whatever the hell they want tonight." Whoa! He's like, gonna stop by like this sexy Medusa chick. He's like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! You, you didn't even fucking, you didn't even fucking fail to like fucking fail to like put in brackets or anything like that." So like, I mean, like, so like, what the fuck do any of these girls even have to do with anything? Well, you know the fucking money that you know the fucking money that you owe this half of the month. They fucking ran off of it and shit. So like, they're not fucking paying anybody protection money. So, what the fuck does that mean for you? She's like, "Okay, yeah, fuck that." <laughs> so yeah i was gonna draw them like you know going after them but then they get away cop girl finds them in the forest and all that shit but then they end up fucking up and up summoning summoning zen it's alien from this planet or whatever real shit and he was like nailed to a tree and all that stuff so, he ends up falling, fucking police, make note of it, going towards Luna and her sister, they happen to be fucking playing video games while this shit's going on, fucking sister Crescentia, they're all supernatural bounty hunters, she ends up sending her on this fucking assignment, here's where the fuck he was, he's falling down there earth and all that shit and to all the fuckery and debauchery so luna sent sent by her sister happens to go to like the very forest that they were in ends up seeing him crashing down the earth fucking capture him and then they kind of like pretty much just put him up figure like kind of figure out where the fuck he came from but then, like, he ends up going a little bit wild and shit, ransacking the fucking town. And then they end up having to fucking, like, I don't know, really kind of, like, take them, take them under their wing. So, basically, our assignments pretty much are to fuck up Paul, the gang leader. And then Amber, zombie queen, she was actually at the meeting, but kind of in the background. Uh, and she was Damien Hellfuss's girlfriend. So, yeah. She's like, yeah, this guy's gonna be a trip to work with. You sure know how to pick him, sis? She's like, I know, he's adorable. So then she ends up going over the list of assignments and, like, tells him not to fuck up. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm not gonna fuck up. He's like, oh, yeah, you're totally gonna fuck up. And when you fucking do, I'm just gonna fucking laugh. So then they kind of just get into an argument. She ends up destroying the list anyway, because that's just Ember. <laughs> She's just messed up. And then they're just fucking angry. He's like, yep. 
So then he kind of just shows his true colors and shit. And she's like, whoa. He's <laughs> like, all right, now let's fucking go. So I haven't drawn any of that part yet. But then, like, they end up meeting Stefani, chick from the circus. She ends up telling them a lot of the backstory of Paul and the clowns and the brothers and Ian and Christina and Lily. So that's where the next part comes to. Uh, these are all the girls and shit. More detailed fashion. And then, pretty much after Broken, well, pretty much during Broken, the entire fucking act, it's like literally just a fucking war between Paul, Ian, and Kevin. And how it kind of just affects the rest of the fucking town. It's Helen. One of the more noteworthy characters. She's the one that literally kind of sparks all this shit. So then, here's how Ian gets his powers. So, he's just showing off skateboarding down the street. Uh, he has a box full of chemicals. Pay attention to the box. He ends up doing this awesome trick, but ends up almost running into Monica in the process. He ends up having to catch the box because it almost hits her. But then they had like a cute moment right there. So then he ends up speeding off. Uh, Helen ends up like fawning after him. He ends up getting jealous. He fucking shoots one of his skateboard wheels out. And then that gives Ian his powers. So then Monica's all concerned for Ian. Ian realizes this. Realizes that he has powers. And he's going to fuck up Paul once and for all. So... <laughs> That doesn't really go off as planned because Helen and Monica don't want any of that and neither does anybody else except for these two. So he ends up sending him. She ends up sending her. He's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so then Monica pretty much does this like, elaborate acrobatic move and shit. She was in the circus and shit like that. She ends up grabbing him, slamming him to the fucking ground. And then laying down the fucking law towards Paul. Both siblings get into an argument in the middle of the fucking street. This guy's passed the fuck out. Ian's just floating in the middle of the floor. Oh, floating right there. And then this is actually isolated incidents, like on the outskirts of town. So uh Helen's just right there. Uh both of them are going slap the fuck off on each other. Paul walks off, says something incredibly disrespectful towards Ian and the fact that he was like an orphan and whatnot, dot dot dot. Ian gets pissed. Launches straight towards the bastard. Helen tells, Mo Helen tells Monica to kick the fucking skateboard over near her and shit. Monica does it. And she only does this to subdue Paul. Paul's like, the fuck are you doing with that board? And she ends up knocking Paul the fuck out. Uh, then she ends up passing the board over to Monica. Monica knocks Ian out. <laughs> that's the whole shit so then Ian's knocked out he has this whole ass flashback to like how you first met them Paul never fucked with him from the get go their parents are gritty as fuck <laughs> this is uh the police chief and the police chief's daughter they used to have a band together blah 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 it's Helen when she was in school the scientist chick kind of like very close to their mom is their dad, and it's, yeah. So, it's just like when they all first get adopted or whatnot. Like, they're all kids in the orphanage and all that shit, too. All children look at little, little Lily, all of them, they all get adopted. It's their mom, but it goes back, because that was just Ian just having a flashback. Monica kind of thanks him. Both of them have sex. They, like, really do. <laughs> so it's kind of like a timeline of shit both of their biological parents died adopted an orphanage and got raised together so yeah another flashback morning and shit like that it's Lily adopted daughter Helen and Kevin 
at school at some sort of science fair or something like that. Definitely have to draw that part. And then goes back to like present day, like right after that whole shit, because there was a whole meeting that they had had. So then her and Kevin definitely still have that close relationship. Both of them have sex, blah, blah, blah. But before this, this is like Helen's gonna leave town. I'm having sex. Seems I'm getting a phone call that interrupts that. Paul literally just sent over, sent over there to kill Kevin and still whatever the fuck he was working on. She doesn't do that. She ends up clicking a selfie. Uh, sends it to Paul. Paul gets pissed. Fucking <laughs> commands everybody's attention. Tells the entire gang to run out and fucking kill Kevin. And they're all like shocked. Oh yeah. So then here they are, just going off towards him. He was like, "Yeah, bitch, are you fucking crazy?" She pretty much tells him her entire plan to fucking leave. So it's a fail safe. She hands him some weapons, and then she tells him about fucking Ian and Monica too, and how Ian has powers. But then she even says how she ends up knocking Paul the fuck out at at like one of the meetings they had because he told them to kill them. So. This is her saying her goodbyes and shit. <laughs> and then fucking Stefani and shit pretty much like complimenting uh, Monica and Selena and shit even though they're doing crime. <laughs> this is what happens to Helen. She ends up getting killed by a scavenger check out in the wasteland. She, ends up getting, she shoots a robot. She ends up getting blown the fuck up. That's kind of what happens. Uh, then it goes into Alex and Ryan territory and Ian and Lily territory. Ryan, a uh, rookie cop, but she still fucks the criminal guy from time to time. Dad does not fuck with it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, dude, just look at him. So, Alex, she always has to fucking intervene between conflicts between Monica and Lori because that's like their, their rival gang's enforcer. She even flirts with her fucking uh, partner who wants no part of it. But here she is fucking with the criminal. <laughs> and then she also, like, she also had a stressed out week and shit like that. But this is her, like, where Peter finished. She's fucking his dude up. <laughs> Hell, both of them even stopped fighting to, like, comment on, like, their brutality. So, her dad is, like, really fed up with Paul and his nonsense. They fucking vandalized the police precinct. <laughs> he's like, I'm telling you, Lassie, he's no good. She's like, whatever, dad. He's like, Alex, thank God, what's your position? Oh, if I told you, I'd be fucking fired, man. Wait a minute, sweetie. He and her sister's like, wow, sis, you're insane. <laughs> So, later on, she goes on patrol, gets a fucking call, bank robbery in process. He's like, God fucking damn it, Ryan. Fucking speed, speed towards the bank. Blew through the fucking bank with a rocket launcher. Uh, fucking tells them if the cash is rigged to blow, that they're all dead. Finds her friend Sharon, one of the bank tellers, and he's gonna threaten Sharon's life. Uh, she ends up coming through. I haven't drawn that part yet, but yeah, she's going to arrest the fuck out of Ryan. Ryan's going to prison. Paul later on comes to take, comes to bail his brother out, but then is, just gets stopped by Ian. He ends up blowing up their fucking getaway car and all that shit, and then ends up fucking doing everybody involved. <laughs> ends up fucking talking shit to the police chief in the process. Knocks Paul the fuck out. And then Lily actually comes back in town. So, Lily's entire arc, she meets back up with Ian. They have sex. But then, after, like, literally right after that, she literally goes straight towards their hideout and robs them fucking blind. But then she ends up getting captured and, like, like brutally attacked by Paul, setting Ian the fuck off. So then, after this, uh, Ian pretty much just, like, unleashes on them. Decapitated heads and shit like that. Fucking slices an entire car in half. Kevin fucking launches a missile at him. He's, he's, here he's just flicking him the fuck off. But then it really gets fucking crazy. He ends up fucking, uh, yeah. Yeah, he ends up fucking cutting his arm off and shit. He ends up kicking the shit out of him. But then, there was he had, like, this fucking alien fox monster in this crate yeah, appears behind him. 
<laughs> oh god. Yeah, the whole shit is just insane. So Ian ends up dying. Well, both of them, both of them end up getting killed by this thing. <laughs> and that's kind of like the end of Act Two. But then, like, there's a news report about it because both of them came in like the very last minute as all that shit ended. And then here they are just watching everything. And that was like the end of part two. It's like a lot more that goes down, but like act three is like just as crazy.